Just like bonds can be polar or nonpolar, depending on their electronegativity difference, molecules can be polar or nonpolar. If the molecules are polar, they can act as magnets and attract each other. If they're nonpolar, then they don't attract each other so much. This is going to give us a clue as to such properties as melting point, boiling point, and ability to evaporate. A polar molecule has what's called asymmetrical electron distribution. In other words, the electrons are pulled more to one side of the molecule than to the other side of the molecule, giving the molecule partially charged ends. For example, in the molecule HCl, the hydrogen has an electronegativity of 2.1. The chlorine is 3.2. So the electrons are going to get pulled more towards the chlorine side than the hydrogen side. The way we do this is we draw a dashed line along a line of symmetry. In other words, a plane that we can cut the molecule in half in such a way that one side is a mirror image of the other side. If we cut the molecule like this, we'll have half a hydrogen on each side and half a chlorine on each side. This molecule has one line of symmetry. Another example would be a water molecule where hydrogen has an electronegativity of 2.1, the oxygen has electronegativity of 3.5. The one and only line of symmetry that this molecule has is cut diagonally, where you reflect one hydrogen on either side and half an oxygen on either side. In order to determine which end is partially positive and which end is partially negative, you draw an arrow along the line of symmetry towards the atom with the higher electronegativity. This is called a dipole moment. Dipole moment. So since hydrogen has lower electronegativity and chlorine has higher, we'll draw the arrow along the line of symmetry pointing towards chlorine. This tells us that the electrons are being pulled towards chlorine. And since electrons are negative, the chlorine end is partially negative and the hydrogen end is partially positive. In this molecule, the more electronegative atom is oxygen. So the arrow will go towards oxygen, which means that the electrons are being pulled more in this direction and pulled away from that direction. This is what we mean by asymmetrical electron distribution. The electrons are not distributed evenly throughout the whole molecule. They're leaning more towards one side than the other. That's a polar molecule. In a nonpolar molecule, there's complete symmetry of electron distribution in the molecule. In other words, the electrons are distributed evenly throughout the entire molecule. The way we can tell if a molecule is polar or nonpolar, again, is to look up the electronegativities of the involved atoms. Chlorine is 3.2. This chlorine is also 3.2. Which means that there's no side that's getting the advantage over the other in terms of gaining or losing electrons. So, this molecule has one line of symmetry where we can cut half a chlorine here and half a chlorine here. And it has a second line of symmetry where you have one chlorine on this side and one chlorine on that side. If there are two or more lines of symmetry, that means the electrons are distributed evenly through the molecule and there are no poles. Why? Because no one side has electrons more than the other side. So therefore, it's a nonpolar molecule. Another example of a nonpolar molecule is carbon tetrachloride. Carbon tetrachloride has a line of symmetry here. Chlorine, chlorine, half a chlorine, half a chlorine, half a chlorine, half a chlorine. Here, chlorine, chlorine, half chlorine, half a chlorine, half a chlorine, half a chlorine. And it also has a line of symmetry in this direction, two chlorines, two chlorines. And a line of symmetry in this direction, two chlorines, two chlorines. Carbon tetrachloride is a very nonpolar molecule, and it's a very useful dissolver of nonpolar things. Water is polar, which means it can only dissolve other polar things. Carbon tetrachloride can dissolve things that water can't, which is why it used to be used in the dry cleaning industry until they found out just how cancer-causing it is.